Mm-hmm. But did y'all have any naysayers? Did y'all have any people that say, well, what you doing? Why are you doing that for? Well, you ain't got no money, do you? How you going to do with that for? <laughs> and what you doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> like, how, about how you, how you going to pay for this? How you going, how you going to do that? Did, did y'all have any of that? Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Truth Revealed podcast, uh, where we host conversations that relate so we can reconcile and come together and reveal God's truth. Mm -hmm. And today, well, first of all, I'm your host, April Rivers. (laughs) And today I have my beautiful co-host with me as always, Holly Harris. What's up? And Latricia, aka Sweet. What's up? (laughs) <laughs> and uh, we are here to talk to you today um, about what I want. I say economic empowerment, just doing it yeah. um, in the climate we're in right now. Everybody's trying to figure out what's getting ready to happen. Are we going to get another stimulus check? Will the minimum wage be raised? Uh, you know, will we be able to go back to normal as far as working and jobs and what it's going to look like? And uh are we going to have another round of this different type of pandemic and yeah. back to food shortages? All those things going on in your head. And all those things have to do with economics. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like economics was one of the aftermaths other than our health. That was the biggest impact this pandemic has had on us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Many of us have had COVID and recovered, but a lot of people have not recovered financially. Mm-hmm. So we want to talk about empowerment. We want to share with you, encourage you, um, and just kind of tell you a little bit about what we're doing and what we've done um, to where we feel like we have a little power in our hands to, to put ownership to whether our jobs fold, close, go do whatever, mm-hmm. <laughs> that we can be okay. Yeah. Um, and, and to encourage you guys not to, to, to jump out there. So I don't want to say too much. We're going to get right into this, uh, subject. Yeah. <laughs> um, All right. but I want to ask the first question, just open-ended question to Holly or sweet, whoever wants to answer it. How important to you guys is it, um, that, that we have something beyond our nine to five hustle? How important what? is that? 110% important. <laughs> yeah. 110% important. Um, do you want me to elaborate? Elaborate. <laughs> elaborate. elaborate. Uh, you know, just to reiterate what you already said, it's so true that in the midst of this pandemic, a lot of people have had to reinvent themselves. Pivot was a hot word mm-hmm. last year. Everybody was pivoting. And so mm-hmm. it really showed you that you know, when the world shut down, because he literally, that's kind of what happened outside of grocery stores um, mm-hmm. um, and maybe a couple of fast food spots. Um, you had to think about what could I do to generate money yeah. if I can't have my job? Mm-hmm. And at that time, I actually had a job and um, and I was considered an, considered an essential worker. And my crazy self went quit the job. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't let Wait. you loose. You had an opposite problem. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> Help, Lord. I, I went quit the job. But even in that, it was like, oh, what am I going to do now? <laughs> mm-hmm. So it really made me think about, you know, putting so much into that mm-hmm. security of a job, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and relying yes. on the check to come from the man, you know, whoever the man is. Right. So I think it's very important. Yeah. All right, Holly. I completely and totally agree. You know, as the saying goes, do not put all of your eggs in one basket because yeah. <laughs> you just never know. Um, yeah. And I think what North, ain't North Carolina and uh, what they call it at. It's at will. Will state. Yeah. So that means that they basically can just fire you and not have a no reason explanation. to write. Right. Yeah. So even the more <laughs> North Carolinians. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
do what you got to do, you know, and this is just so important to d- diversify to, you know, to not put all of your eggs into one basket because you just never know what may happen. You know, I know, um, you know, in my current situation, there's some changes going on. So it's like, you know, so you just you just never know, you know, what can possibly happen. So you just have to be, you know, ready. And if you have income, you know, available, then, you know, do what you got to do to yeah. make sure that everything is taken care of. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, as for me, I agree with you, both the ladies. Um, it is 100,000% important to um, have other, another stream somewhere. And mm-hmm. I know when we start talking about this, uh, to our listeners, don't, don't tune us out because you think, oh, they talking that wealthy people talk. Mm-hmm. No, ma'am. No, sir. Mm-hmm. We, <laughs> we trying to get wealthy. Yeah. We there. <laughs> um, this is a wealth mindset talk. Yeah. Okay. Um, to where um having another stream can be stuff that you wouldn't even think of, or just even diversifying, like the word that Holly used, diversifying things. Because mm-hmm. sister girl here, I've been let go from a job at the mm-hmm. worst possible time mm-hmm. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was newly, newly divorced. Moved to a new town and rented this nice little big old house and lost my job. Mm. So I, I know what that's like. And to have to rely on assistance, which is no problem when you need it. Mm-hmm. Um, but 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 getting assistance is overrated. Sitting mm-hmm. and waiting in 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 uh in offices <laughs> in 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 the waiting on those uh a financial so- social worker mm-hmm. sitting all day with your little child waiting to <laughs> fill out this form and that form. Wow. It is overrated. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is not yeah. the best experience. And if you don't have to do that, even when you have a rainy day, because you actually thought ahead, mm-hmm. then, Hey, that's that, that, that's what we're trying to, where we're trying to get to. And mm-hmm. I am talking to two ladies, my, my co hosts my sisters, my friends, <laughs> who actually leaped out there and did something as regular old sister girl and sister girl, um, not as millionaires, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. not as uh, somebody with some big contract. <laughs> and they wrote, probably, do you partially produce Holly? Yeah, did you produce, yeah. Produced <laughs> <laughs> their own album. Mm -hmm. and 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 this was a journey that they went on and they just did it Mm -hmm. now just do it doesn't mean leaping out with no plan or or being foolish (laughs) but they they did not allow right Mm -hmm. they did not allow their mind to work so much that they talked themselves out of moving forward Mm -hmm. so we so y'all in for a treat we 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 got somebody some some two somebody's that got something to say about this (laughs) here and understand so i i I want to pose it to whoever wants to go first um when you ventured out and i'm 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 gonna call it i'm i'm gonna call it your 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 venture your your passion uh, project, you know, just because it was your first, this, you know, I, I have no doubt this ain't your last thing doing, but um, just your own doing it yourself mm-hmm. without a label and correct me if I get anything wrong, but without a label, yeah. without all this front money, mm-hmm. what made y'all just jump out there and just do it? Go ahead, Holly. Well, I, I think I, I'd always, you know, wanted to record music and, um, you know, but it just seemed like everybody I work with, it it would fall through or, mm-hmm. you know, they wouldn't get back to you or, you know, because at the time, to be honest, I ain't really having a whole bunch of money to pay nobody. <laughs> so <laughs> money talks, especially when right. it comes to these here musicians, they don't mm-hmm. want to hear nothing about unless they really know you and love you, and, you know, just want to help you right, right, or whatever. So th- I had lots of moments of, you know, uh, starting something with people and, and not finishing it and, you know, just feeling like God had given me something to say through music. You know, however that was to be uh, and, you know, conveyed, you know, I I wanted to, you know, to do what I felt like the Lord had called me to do. And so, like I said, I spent years, you know, trying to do that, you know, to no avail. Um, I even you know, had looked into do, doing a live recording, had gotten, you know, talked to a sound engineer, everything, you know, financially it didn't come together. So uh, back in, what was it, 26? No, 2017, I think it was. 
I was talking to, you know, sweet on the phone or whatever. And she was telling me that she had written some songs and, you know, had a desire to record them. And, you know, she wanted me to sing background and I told her, yeah, sure, I'll do it or whatever. And so when I got off of the phone, I just felt the Holy Spirit say, why don't you see if she would be willing for y'all to partner and do it together? You know, because I knew I, I had some songs that was on the shelf for many years that I hadn't recorded. And so when I called her back, because I was still willing to sing background for her, but <laughs> I was mm-hmm. like, you know, can we make this a joint effort? And so when I called her back, she said, yeah. And so, you know, the rest is history. But um, Lord, did I ask answer the question? Or I just went into No, it? no, that was it. <laughs> you, you, did. you did. You asked the Lord. question, what made you? Oh, what, okay. What made you I go was just like, Lord, I don't want to forget. And just, right, and yeah. just do it, you know? So that. That was, you know, the thing. I think, you know, a lot of time fear stops us, you know, from moving forward. And sometimes you do have to partner with somebody uh, like it, especially initially to uh, because it, then it becomes an accountability sort of thing mm-hmm. to where, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you kind of keep each other focused and that sort of thing and uh, keep each other from, you know, dropping out or, you know, whenever there is fear that things are not going to, you know, to happen. You have, it's just like the scripture says, which is how we came up with the concept, you know, for the CD2 mm-hmm. for the price of one. Um, well, what was the scripture? That if, you know, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, that two are better than one because if one falls down, the other one's there to pick them up. So that was the whole concept of us doing it. But, um, you know, it was it was very important, you know, to um, to actually do something, you know, (laughs) that the Lord did, because a lot of times we lie to ourselves and 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 the more we lie to ourselves, the less we believe ourselves and the less we're likely to step out. Because mm-hmm. you keep telling yourself the same lie. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, and you never do it. Then you're more likely mm-hmm. not to step out there. So <clears throat> it was really important to do it. Even one of my songs is called "I'll Do It Even If I Have to Do It Afraid." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, so yeah. So it was like it was one of those things to where it was kind of a partnership of helping each other really to. Uh, you know, create and, and to develop as we went through, you know, the process. It was a process too, but I'll let Sweet talk. I've been talking to you. No, much. you're good. Right. You're good. Why did you just do it, Sweet? Why you jump out there and say, sure? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, it was totally not a jump out there and a sure. Ah. Um, I had, I like Holly had always teeter tottered with um, producing something or recording or whatever. And then I had kind of gotten to a place where I had kind of pushed it to the back burner and it wasn't like a forefront thing. And um, the Holy Spirit gave me some songs and they were, you know, you know how you have your phone and you record these things and keep them in the voice memos. But these past couple of songs that he gave me, they they were so uh, powerful to me. Like I was so moved by them. I felt like I was not doing the Holy Spirit justice by just keeping them in the phone and listening to them and sending them to my friends. And I wanted to actually see the music be completed because it was just raw. It was just me in the car singing. And I wanted to hear what it would sound like with instrumentation, what it would sound like with all the bells and whistles and background. And so I had met this... um, I had met a gentleman who knew some stuff, some musicians, and I let him hear some of my music. And he was like, yeah, you definitely should record. And sometimes it's just having somebody that you really don't know be like, girl, what are you doing? Put this out. It was like, it was just like a jolt of uh, adrenaline to me. And like, I became automatic and autopilot and was like, I have to get this done. I have to get this done. And I just started putting things in place and timelines and deadlines. And um, let me see. I think I definitely was not like making bukus of money. I think I had just gotten um, a new uh, a new job. I got a new job in the process of everything happening. So everything was uh, I'm just going to do it and believe that if this is really what the Lord wants me to do, that he'll prov- he'll bring provision. And that's exactly what he did. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that, that is good stuff. So it wasn't a just do it. God was already working on y'all and had already gotten y'all to a place where you're like, yeah, this, we need to move forward and just 
and do this Mm -hmm. and do this. Okay. Um, Now, did y'all have to deal with, how did y'all combat? And you may not have had any of this. So let let me, this, this was not on the outline, by the way, Mm -hmm. but did y'all have any naysayers? Did y'all have any people that say, well, what you doing? Why are you doing that for? Well, you ain't got no money. Do you, how you going to do with that for? (laughs) What you doing that for? (laughs) Like, how, you, how you how you gonna pay for this? How you gonna how you gonna do that? Did did y'all have any of that? You Actually, know what? No. Oh. I can't recall. Oh. I don't know if Holly That's has some good. on her end, but well, I, no, because I can't recall. It's good because I think one of the things that really confirmed that God had really spoken and said partner was when. Um, a friend of mine, he does uh, a musical event, you know, uh, I think like once a month and he usually honors Travis Brown. Lord, Lord have mercy. Been such a blessing to me. <laughs> and um, he honors, you know, people, you know, every, um, you know, time he does it. But I think this was at the worship exchange or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, they had had me to come to sing. Little did I know that this joker had planned a surprise that during the do- that I was going to be the recipient because he had saw that I had put out there that, you know, or either I had told him, I can't remember that I was trying to, you know, record and stuff. And this joker, the, I, it brings me to tears now, mm-hmm. had me be the recipient. And when I say they gave and gave and gave and when it was over and done with I was like okay God this is you really want me to do this (laughs) right (laughs) yeah forward in this and so that was the joke for me that really you know not that I didn't know before but it was just really Mm -hmm. like confirmation that yes I'm in Mm -hmm. this and it was like that the whole way through like God's hand people were just giving crazy amounts so when I say you know the naysayers that I didn't you know I ain't hear them. <laughs> right. <Amen. laughs> okay. All right, listeners. So message right here. Cause I just thought about this as Holly was talking. Sometimes we have perceived haters before we even jump out mm-hmm. there to do anything. Mm. Uh, nobody do studying. not talk. <laughs> right. Do not talk <laughs> yourself out. And and neither they may not be studying you. And you'd be surprised. Yeah. It is a lot of people that went absolutely we are in a world full of talkers. And not as many doers as we think. Yeah. And 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 when people see you doing, mm-hmm. they want to help. Absolutely. I, I'm realizing that when people see you stepping out, mm-hmm. they're like, "Oh, you really yeah. go." That's, yep. that's true. You know, <laughs> and and they'll be like, "Here, take this. I'll help you with this. I'll help you yeah. with that. Or send you this. Or bless you this way. Or yeah. I have this, and I can y'all come and do this, and y'all can promote this, or what have you." Go ahead, Holly. You want to say oh, something? Oh, I just wanted to interject something that I thought about when you were talking about that perceived haters. Yeah. Um, I remember, you know, you remember, sweet, we did that video at uh, y- your church or whatever. And so I took it, edited, added some things to it. And I remember I was so afraid to post it online. Like I was literally semi shaking, like, Lord, mm-hmm. I just don't know, you know, if people are going to, you know, like it, or are they going to be for it or against it? Da, da, da. I literally, I was so afraid, but I posted it anyway. I, I was, I was so scared. I got in my car and just took a drive. I said, I'm not looking at social media. I don't want to see what anybody has to say. This is what I'm talking about. Perceive haters and fear and the enemy trying to stop you from fulfilling your purpose. I get back home and the Holy spirit told me go, go online, stop, you know, go online. And then he said, there are more for you than there are against you. And I clicked on the thing and I just saw everybody saying, congratulations, I can't wait. Let me know what I can do, you know. And so that really, that was the first joke. The second joke was the uh, going and, you know, the money or whatever. Right, but that right. was the first joke that, you know. So I just wanted to say that because yeah. there that, that was perceived haters when, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So that, that did you have anything to add, sweet? No, I was just going to say, um, I, I joke. I was joking with someone, and I was like, they were talking about their haters, and it was such a foreign concept to me. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't have anybody that hates me. <laughs> like, and I was, and I, I was like a kid. Like, explain this to me. Mm-hmm. Why do these people hate you? How do you know <laughs> that they're your haters? And and he was telling me all this stuff, and I just thought, like, I literally said to him. 
everybody that I affiliate with, to everybody that I'm in community with are people who genuinely want to see me succeed. Mm-hmm. And, and I really mean that, like from the jump, from the jump, from the very beginning, when we started talking about doing this CD, one, I don't think I told a lot of people because I wanted to guard it. Mm-hmm. But the people that I did tell, everybody sold into my life that I told. Ministries that I had been a part of, my family, my mom, my old youth pastors, like from talking about from childhood, like people just gave. And it was so affirming, you know, mm-hmm. to know that you're loved in such a capacity. And, and, you know, people came up to me, Holly had her, um, her moment when she was, you know, honored with the money from this worship experience. Mm -hmm. And so what we decided to do as a part of a joint effort was to split everything down the bill, glory down the middle, (laughs) glory to the living God, because it was pricey. Uh And I remember, yes, Lord, when (laughs) Holly got, you know, that initial lump sum of money. And I was like, oh my God, I had like $200. I think I needed like a thousand or I don't know how much, but I was nowhere near my goal (laughs) that I had to get for myself. And I was talking to one of my friends and um, she was like, you know, how much money do you need? And I think it was like, we were like doing stuff in stages. This dude called me. It was, I'll never forget, it was Thanksgiving week and she was traveling out of town to New York with her two kids and two foster kids, her and her husband and family. And she said, where do you bank? And I was like, state employees. And she was like, I'm going to send you, I'm going to um, put money into your account. And she gave me like this lump sum of money. Yeah, we bless God yeah. for one because it was a blessing. That, <laughs> Gina and Andrew Thomas, my yeah. ride or dies. <laughs> they blessed me in such a way that it was like it was like what she said, what mm-hmm. Holly was saying. It was that uh, reaffirming. Not that I didn't yeah. know, mm-hmm. but it was that that people are so for you and want to genuinely yeah. see you succeed Absolutely. to the point where they're willing to to sow their treasure. Absolutely. Right? Mm. And I, you know. From the twenty dollar bill to the five dollar yeah, bill, yeah, I'm appreciative to the hundreds oh, the of blessing. dollars that were given. <laughs> I've always felt like people don't have to give to you; people Come don't on, have to support you. And so, when people do with their yeah. time and their talents and their money, like that's just there's something that they identify that they're identifying with you mm-hmm. that makes them want to give. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, and I thought about another message while y'all were talking. I, I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I get the message. message. <laughs> um, and while we're saying this, you know, I, I kind of saw in my head that there may be someone listening to us being like, well, dang, I, I, well, maybe what I'm doing is not from God because nobody's supporting me. Um, hold that thought because this is the thing. Maybe there's something you need to recalibrate. It may not be mm-hmm. that what you're doing is not of God or or what have you, because and, and what I want to do is I want to kind of not despiritualize it, but I, what I want, mm-hmm. I want people to know now that you don't have to, God don't have to open up the heavens for you to go out and start your business. Okay. Mm-hmm. God don't have to yeah. come down and talk in the Charleston Heston voice to get you to, to, to know for you to know, like, is, is it a God that I yeah. actually start this t-shirt business, even though I'm already making my own t-shirts and everybody always asks me where I got it from. And, you know, <laughs> you know, you ain't got to, you know, now, of course we, we believe in praying about the moves you make, but yeah. Don't let fear be your guide, you know, jump Absolutely. out, get, get out there. But if you, if you're dealing with the fact that, well, I've been asking for help and nobody will support me, ask the people why, A- ask somebody, maybe someone mm-hmm. you're close to and have a relationship. Like, what is it about what I'm doing that you're not willing to support? And maybe they just can't, or they mm-hmm. may tell you something like, well, boo boo, everything I've ever seen you do, you quit. And I don't want to give you money. Yeah. And you start and you quit. And it on your you, rent. You know, right. <laughs> <What? laughs> yeah. Te- you know, integrity it, is a piece of that too. Integrity is a piece of yeah. that. So what I'm trying to tell you is there may be other factors. It may not be that what that, that it's wrong, what you're doing or for mm-hmm. you to stop, but just, just ask questions and find out. Go ahead, sweet. Yeah. No, I think that's really good in the, to go down that line, what you're saying about, you know, taking out, yes, obviously God blessed us, 
But Holly and I came into this arrangement knowing that we were going to split it down the middle. Mm -hmm. And we were also willing to put our own money up front. And we did put our own money up front. That's right. We invested in ourselves. We were yeah. prepared that if nobody gives us two pennies, we're going to make, you know, mm-hmm. we're going to move forward. Absolutely. And I think, I think that's very important too, because the people who gave to us, um, the people who decided to sow there, there were things that was that, that exists within, within Holly and I that made us be good ground. I, I'm talking mm-hmm. Christianese, but they, they knew that these are women of integrity they are yeah. people of their word. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, we are the type of people that we have been on the giving side. We've yeah. given to ministries. Yeah. We've sown into people's mm-hmm. uh, adventures. We've given our mm-hmm. time and talents and money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it there is such thing as reciprocity. The world calls yes. it karma. Yes. Um, yes. There's a such Seat, thing. time, and harvest. <laughs> yeah. But I, I totally believe, you know, yeah. to that point, April, you still have to have a, a game plan. You do. Mm-hmm. You do. Yes. You know. Absolutely. Because I think people mm-hmm. are more apt to help you when they see you trying to help yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that and that's the truth for the young black and white youth. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. That is the truth. Young <laughs> black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I do think too, you do need to to measure things like um like if you do start something and uh, a considerable amount of time has gone by and you don't see, you do have to kind of, you know, like she said, you got to regroup and you got to like yeah. really sit in it to really see, okay, is this something I need to continue or, yeah. or is it something that absolutely, I in absolutely. Right. So right. you have to recalibrate yeah. and, you know, and it doesn't mean it could mean hold for now. Yeah. It doesn't always mean throw the dream away at all, mm-hmm. but just now ain't the time or yeah. it could be a lot of factors. So, yeah. so yeah. So always keep that in mind because this is, this, this is meant to be encouraging. So I don't want Absolutely. anybody, I just saw that the person just being like, well, dang, nobody's, you know, <laughs> given to me, but like Holly and right. said, they had yeah. already invested in themselves. They, it, they weren't waiting on or going to depend, depend mm-hmm. on the charity of others, but reciprocity is real. They're yeah. supportive. You want to be supportive support and mm-hmm. now you don't support with the mind of like well i'm gonna support them so they can give to me you yeah. know you su- mm-hmm. you you support with a genuine uh uh desire to see yes. that person that you're supporting succeed absolutely whether you get anything mm-hmm. return or not yeah. and that will come back all right all right <laughs> ladies uh, this is good stuff um because we want to get out here and just do it yeah all right now um hmm I got a short, I got, I, I have a really short outline because I want to leave some open air space at the end, okay. but um, uh, for some things, well, well, let me ask you this. Let me ask it out of order because that can be my, our, your final thoughts. Is there anything, any ventures? Now we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the album and we're going to give y'all where y'all can purchase their album. They have hard copies of that. They can't, go and put it in the Show camera. It. Go and put it up in the camera. That, <laughs> look at that artwork. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That ain't no flim flam. That, oh, look oh, at them beautiful ladies. Yes. Look at them. Look at oh, that. Yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Those of y'all who are listening, just just trust me. Did she show this the wonderful cover that they have and just the mm-hmm. quality product um, yes. that they have in their album? And we're going to tell you how you can support, where you can purchase, and all that. But I want to know from you, ladies. Uh, this hard. Are y'all working on anything that y'all can share? Anything that you're in the works of saying? I'm already get ready to get other things, other ventures, stuff I'm going to just do or stuff we're planning to do. Because one thing I know about, I feel like about an entrepreneurial mindset mm-hmm. and a, and a, and a mindset that says we have other streams. You kind of, you're not at a destination. It's kind of just yeah. like, okay, if I purchase a piece of real estate and now I'm a landlord, I'm either, usually that person's going to try to get more real estate Mm -hmm. or they're going to diversify and do something else. So I got a, I got a, a home that I get rent from and that pays my mortgage. And then I made some t-shirts over here and I got that going. So a lot of times that mindset will have you just kind of, once you, let me say it like this, once you jump out there Mm -hmm. and do it once, 
Mm-hmm. Then that makes it easier for the mm-hmm. next idea and the next vision mm-hmm. for you to be like, okay, let's go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do y'all have anything that y'all want to share that y'all are about to? Latrice, be go ahead. I'll share something. <laughs> I'm, um, I want to preference it by saying I don't think it's an about to presently. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a lot of planning that I'm putting into place. So planning um, stages, that's fine. I'm, I'm definitely yep. in the planning stages. I want to start um, my own, um, selling my own hand poured candles. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to, <laughs> um, it's kind of a joint venture because I want to obviously make, you know, hand pour means I melt, I pour. You're not, I'm not going and buying anything from anywhere and then sticking a label on it. I'm actually doing everything myself. But the other thing that I wanted to venture out doing is creating my own vessels. Vessels are just mm-hmm. the containers that the um, candles are going to. And I, I had this idea last, last year, right in the middle of pandemic, um, I, a friend of mine gave me a candle making kit that, um, that's a long story. A friend of mine gave me a candle making <laughs> kit and I had a, uh, auntie and niece and nephew, uh, gathering arts and crafts day at the house. And I brought the kids over. My nieces and nephews are like three, four and five. And, um, we made these candles with the kit. And I realized, you know, the kids, the kids, they was more excited about the popcorn and the cartoons. I was in the kitchen like, oh, my God, this is fun. And, <laughs> and, and so I was so excited. I made these candles and I, I let them give them to my sisters. And I kept one for myself. And I posted it on Facebook and was like, look at my candles that I made with my nieces and nephews. And people start saying, if you make any more, can you make them in this um, size? And I would be willing to buy and I would like to have this set. And I was like, uh, this was just a, a little <laughs> kid project with the box. It was a total of three <laughs> candles, literally. But it started like the wheels rolling. And then I just started doing all this research and I started getting connected with people who make candles. And I was like, I want to do this. And then the creativity started. And then I started fretting because I'm like, this is expensive. These candle containers and stuff, this stuff costs money. And then I was like, I should just make my own containers. And I was like, I would like to make my containers out of cement. And then, yeah, like concrete. Mm -hmm. And then I went on Facebook. And because everything is on social media, there was a whole group, a whole community of people who make candles. Mm -hmm. And I joined and I got a wealth of information of what companies to buy from and what scents were good. And I learned all this chemistry of candles. And then I stumbled upon this year, uh, another Facebook group specifically for people who make their own vessels out of concrete. And, you know, they were telling you buy this brand, don't buy that brand. This ceiling is good. You got to let it cure for this many days. If you live here, this is not going to be good for you. And so I'm excited about that. It's definitely in the planning stages because, as I stated, um, it can be lucrative um, from what I've gathered, just like looking at numbers and all the materials. So I definitely want to make sure that I'm not in over my head. in in this venture, but I do feel excited about that. And then in my dream world, I would like to, um, Holly knows this because she lives with me, so she sees it frequently. I would love to do a lot of DIY slash building things. All right. So that's that's, that's down the road. Yeah, don't give us too much. That's, that's, we'll focus on nah. the candles for now. <laughs> that's beautiful. And I'm, I'm going to say this about that DIY space, ma'am, because of, uh, of me being a YouTube fanatic. Let me tell you something. There's room at the cross and there is room <laughs> oh, at the cross. And there is room uh-huh. in this in this uh space uh for merchants of DIY things. And really I call it a DI well, you're not they're not doing it themselves, but you're doing the hand pouring of the candle and the making of the vessel. There is room for that. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. and to have that community of education, um, to get that education to do that. And like you say, like even starting on a small scale to where you just 
do a few enough that you can sell and make the get that profit and reinvest back into, yeah. and, you know, start building. But the Lord will talk to you about how to do that. But I think that is exciting and awesome. All right, Holly, you next. Well, uh, I'm thinking um, I've been kind of pondering this for a while. Um, possibly a single by the end of the year. Um, so I'm trying to I didn't know that. work. Yeah, trying to work it out. Lord Jesus, work, yeah. work, work it out. Yeah. That's awesome. Gotta work and, it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You see it. And uh, <laughs> there's something that I want to do that the Holy Spirit been uh, dropped on me for a, a long time. Um, that I'm trying to figure out how to package it, like in the mm. devotional space. Um, but just trying to figure out how to present it to the world is, is where I am now. I mean, okay. it woke me up last night with ideas and I was like, I'm tired. I got to go to bed. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm not sure exactly how it's, go- what it's going to look like, but mm-hmm. I am working on that cooking. as well. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, music That's and awesome. more music. Come on, songbird, songwriter, oh, producer. Geez. Come on. Help Come us. on. Help us be devoted to God. Ooh, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. well i have something to share and i told the the my my friends here that i was going to reveal something that i've already like it's already done i i just <laughs> kept it a secret because i only i don't know if it's been five days or a week yet um but one thing that i actually got jolted into because it was a challenge that was put out there and i decided to take part in the challenge and it's something I'm going to get to it. I'm going to give you background first. It's something that can generate money, okay? mm-hmm. uh, but it's not an immediate you know, money in your hand. But it's like I see so much potential. I don't know. you know, I could go go a uh, lots of different places in, the, in this space. Mm-hmm. But my girlfriends know that they know I started a garden when all this craziness happened in 2020. <laughs> um, I think I said, I don't know if I sent you some pictures, Holly, but when it was flourishing, when I first did it, probably not though, no, no, because no you won't even live in what, ho- you won't even live with sweet yet. I think I do remember some plants. In okay, pictures. yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> she, I remember some plants and whatnot. Okay, good. So I probably sent some pictures. Yeah. Um, and I had done the patio garden, so you know I'm not trying to do my gardening thing. Well, there was a challenge put out by my gardening mentors, um, to start your own YouTube channel, mm-hmm. and he began to talk about monetization, and he began to talk about all the things that he did in this space. He he had a where he took a picture one time of a plant growing out of an old toilet now that sound nasty right Ooh. it was clean it was an actual okay. like porch it's like think about it if you had just bought a toilet from Lowe's and you oh, put, it, put it out there there, right yeah. yeah and what he told us and it had arms it looked funny but it looked great because the plant was flourishing oh, wow. and he literally said that he used to sell stuff like that he would make these unique what? um potted plants in like these unique and weird things and they would be growing out of mm. and he had a uh eBay or Etsy shop or something that he would sell them. Wow. Now, who would think who would think it? Who would have thunk it? But anyway, I have already started my channel that this called the TLP Gardening Channel. Um, I need to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. And the reason oh, why really? is TLP is for the little people, the little people garden channel. And, and my little, yeah, because I was like, your space is not too little. Your budget ain't too little to do a big thing like gardening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, oh, oh. yeah, that on the back. Yeah, I can send y'all stuff. <laughs> I almost sent y'all something. I was like, no, don't do it. Because <laughs> I, I, I think I've recorded like five videos. I, I, y'all, I've been rolling. That's so why I'm saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, and I have to learn as I go because y'all know I don't know anything about no editing. I don't know anything. Still don't know anything much. Hey, you learn as you go, honey. right? You learn as you go. Um, mm-hmm. and really, I want my some son been helping me. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I got plenty of those <laughs> planted, okay. and some stuff starting to come up. But um, yeah. So just wanted to share that venture. And like I said, I, I it's nothing that's money offhand, right off. But we know that YouTube is a uh, platform mm-hmm. that will send you the check yeah. treat you like an employee once you get a certain amount of subscribers and things mm-hmm. and because gardening is what it is and a lot of people are not willing to do it but they they want stuff from gardens you can sell a plant you can yeah sell, you can you could sell seeds sometimes there's mm-hmm. a seed shortage of certain certain types of fruits and vegetables you can sell yeah. seeds it's all, all kinds of things 
half of the gardeners I follow have t-shirt lines because of, off of so something they said, business. right. On, off man. of something they said in a live about gardening. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's wide open. So y'all just keep me in prayer audience about that. But yes, yeah, so I'm excited to share that. That, that um, is venture. so awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's the thing I got first and foremost. Now one day, this is one of the things that I mean, I actually was looking, but I'm not ready to do it yet. Um, Y'all know about me writing the books. Okay, my yeah. my friends know about me wanting to be a writer for the longest time. And I actually wrote some things and I'm actually speaking with someone who does publish and she's trying to mentor me, um, you know, and I've already had the first conversations because I've completed two children's books, but they're not complete yet. When I say complete, I meant I wrote. Mm-hmm. They're not anywhere to, to print. And when I'm praying, it's the stuff that I do with gardening may help me fund all the way what I'm doing. It kind of reminds yeah. me what y'all are talking about. I have to kind of get the money as I go, start off small, mm-hmm. talk to uh, uh, who I'm speaking with and how to, you know, do the money thing. But yeah, so the gardening channel is, it's a, it's in fruition um, uh, and the books is something to come. <laughs> awesome sauce. This is so awesome yeah. because what you said is so true. Like um, I grew up where, gardening was a very, very big deal in my family. Um, mm-hmm. If I ever take you to my grandmother's house, our whole, because we grew up not in the country, but in the county, mm-hmm. and our whole backyard was a garden that my grandmother worked. I remember as a child sitting on the front porch, uh, shucking peas, mm-hmm. um, and sometimes, you know, breaking up green beans and mm-hmm. shucking corn and stuff. And, you know, my uncle was the same way. He had this massive garden and my aunt canned and they ate yeah. that food during the winter. Like some fresh yeah. vegetables. My great grandma right. made preserves and mm. she pickled and I ain't learned none of it, but yeah. I'm going to learn uh, that. My yep. aunt used to do tomatoes. It's probably um, on YouTube would, somewhere. It's on <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> corn, all of that. So, mm-hmm. you know, if in Charlotte and people, I don't know if Holly ever went to the um, flea market. Man, in mm-hmm. Charlotte, if you didn't get to the flea market at the at the butt crack of dawn, it was you could forget it. Oof. Because people would be there so early getting food and getting yeah. all the, you know, getting everything. And mm-hmm. then the flea market has everything from fresh fruits and vegetables to flowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think there's so much opportunity. Like, you know, I, I will come patronize you with the flea market. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> all right, ladies. So what I wanted to wrap up with, um, one, I want y'all to go ahead and plug and give all the information um, on two for the price of one and tell our audience how they can get that project and what they need to do. Then y'all don't have to wait for me to come back. Just go into advice, advice you would give um, to someone who may be just afraid to start encouraging words. And that'll be our closing remarks. So whichever one of you want to take on first. Yeah. Well, uh, of course, you can, um, you know, of course, we're on Apple, we're on Spotify, we're on all of those different channels. And then, of course, we also have hard copies. As you can see, our model is modeling (laughs) the same day uh, available um, for purchase. So you can either uh, actually we have a Facebook page. Uh, It's called two for the price of one and you'll see me and Sweet's face on there. And so what you can do is inbox us if you want a uh a hard copy of the cd so yeah yes and i encourage y'all to get the hard copy y'all know y'all still got a cd play in your car Come stop on. playing <laughs> um stop and this. and buying the hard copies i'm being pushy today and buying yeah. the hard copies actually is very financially beneficial to them absolutely uh, more so than the streaming so absolutely buy them hard copies y'all you need to use yes. that cd player um <laughs> yes <laughs> two for the price of one yeah. all right and holly encouraging oh, yeah. words to someone who uh, this is maybe afraid to start or. Yeah, I would say, you know, definitely sometimes you got to do it afraid, you know, sometimes a fear ain't going to go nowhere until you start making steps. And even then it might be 
still a little bit there, but you keep, you know, you keep taking those steps of faith. Um, but I think sometimes, you know, the fear is there because we just don't know. We don't know how to get started. And the best way to know how to get started is follow someone who's doing what you want to do. The word of God says to be imitators of those who through faith and patience obtain the promises. If you see somebody who's where you want to be, follow them and ask questions. Do research, you know, to see exactly how that person got there or just, or if it's just something in general, or if it's something that's never been done before, you know, seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit and then research the parts that have been done before. So, and I I would say from that research, create a plan and then begin implementing it uh, one by one, no matter how small the steps are, you know, make a step every day, even if it's just making a phone call or just looking something up on the internet, because you're, you'll be surprised how productive that makes you feel when you do at least one thing, you know, that is in support of your, your purpose uh, or your goal. Um, And yeah, and definitely, you know, saturated with prayer, I would say for those, you know, who may not believe definitely those same steps are (laughs) applicable. (laughs) Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, but I, I, I think my... Just to tie it all up, I would say, and and I I went through this for years to where I was looking outside of myself to fulfill my purpose, and I was always like, oh, I can't get it done because I this person won't help me, that person won't help me. It wasn't until God, you know, I would always hear it all the time. People would say, you have everything in you to fulfill your purpose, and I wouldn't believe it. I would be like, no, but I need this person to help me do this, help me do that. It wasn't until the Lord took me off my job, and I went through a season of a whole entire year. God taught me, you know, how to do certain things in music, and I was doing a whole bunch of research that I really was like, oh my God, I really do have everything on the inside of me to to do this. And that's not to say you're not going to need anybody else's help, but that's to at least to get started. I promise you everything that you need is within you and, you know, do the research, you know, begin investing in yourself. If there are courses that you can take, take those courses. Do not be afraid to invest in yourself because you're worth it. And um, what else? Yeah. So, but my final words will be do it, even if you have to do it afraid. Yes. Yeah. All right. Latricia. Yeah. I did everything that Holly said and I would follow back up with that and say that I think it's very important when you're venturing out on something new that you've, you know, in these, in these uncharted waters to um, find your tribe. Mm -hmm. Find people that can hold you accountable, that can support you, you know, create your board um, to say, hey, this is what I want to do. Um, And you never know how, you know, the knowledge base that people have and they bring up things that you never thought about, you know, Mm -hmm. even with the whole candle um, making business. I don't know the first thing about making candles and it's what Holly was saying last year. I did this extensive research about um, making candles and things that are so important, like how to make sure that you have the right percentage of fragrance oils so that the scent can be smelled. There's different things. There's so much. And I, I got a group of people that I trust that I know will push me and said, this is what I want to do. I don't profess to know everything. Can y'all can y'all be a sounding board for me to throw things off? And they overwhelm me with knowledge. You need to do this. Have you thought about that? You should do this. And it's it's been that thing. It's kind of been it's good to have someone or have a group that you can follow back up with so that you're not out here on your own just trying to make it happen. Because yeah. sometimes when we become lone ranger rangers, we end up working harder and not smarter. Mm -hmm. Um, so that would be my encouragement, everything that Holly said, and to, um, find you a tribe of people that can hold you accountable to whatever your dream is. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Um, and I just want to speak to, um, 
Let's see. For you, for people just not to discount their their experiences and the things that they they've been through to to kind of help them uh, go to the next thing. Like um, Holly was saying about everything already being on the inside of you. Mm-hmm. This here podcast is the one of the reasons why I was able to hit record to put my my mug on YouTube (laughs) (laughs) to, to venture out and in the truth reveal podcast. And for us to have a a thought for Holly, Holly to say, we need to record these conversations and us to say, you know what we do. People do need to hear what we talking about, you know, um, and, and to actually make it happen Mm -hmm. and not just make it happen, but make it happen with some consistency. Lord yes. Jesus, Lord. Um, Lord, we, we've been rolling every week mm-hmm. with something yeah. um, for almost a year now, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah, to to be able to do that and to and to get past the jitters, like Holly said, you got to do it afraid. Mm-hmm. Get past the jitters because you know, first I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna be up here to be judged by everyone. They're gonna be like, you're ugly and your your teeth is oh, gap. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you're ugly. Yo, nothing. Yo, you're right. Yeah, nothing last, at all. Last nothing episode. At all. <laughs> But yeah, you know, just like, you know, you're, you, whenever you put yourself out there, you open mm-hmm. yourself up to you be scrutinized, know. even with mm-hmm. the books. Like, and when you, y'all know, when y'all write a song, that's y'all baby. Yep. Right. Money. You know, I'm thinking about the books I'm writing. I'm like, what do people be like? This is a stupid concept. You know, <laughs> this is <laughs> dumb. Why did you write this? But you know, you can't yeah. to cut out all the stinking thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't let yeah. that Absolutely. voice in your head stop mm. you. Don't let it do because it. it is for somebody. Yes. Somebody wants yes. to hear what's on the inside of you. Absolutely. Somebody needs to see it, feel it, touch it. Somebody needs to light them candles that Sweet's gonna make. Someone mm-hmm. needs to be ministered to by the songs that Holly writes and, and records. Um and whatever the Lord has her do with it, with the devotion, you know, somebody needs to learn how to plant and grow and it's going to help them yep. in the future from my, from my YouTube channel. It is, it's, it's all in his plan. Yes. I, I, all things working together. Absolutely. Now we yes. real Christian needs for the good of those, you know, <laughs> yes, all that of that's going to work together. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so just in wrapping wrapping this up um and i hope you heard the advice advice that was inside but just to say that you know build on what you've already experienced yes. build build on that to go forth and do whatever it is Absolutely. that that you need to do because the lord will use it you yeah. know for you to go out so yeah. our encouragement on truth reveal tonight <laughs> is just do it. Yes. Let's do it. Get out there and do, do it. it. And as always, we love you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes. And we will see you next time. All right. Bye. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Peace. Even if I'm too He's an awesome guy. about it. You're the